So it's a valuable thing. Yeah, so these are a few of the sports cards that I was trading. These are from 1981. And some of these cards are valued. These are probably smaller valued cards, maybe $25 to $50. So these are a lot of famous players that were uh, heroes of mine when I was a kid. Now, you keep the smaller valued cards like this without a protector. Now, the higher valued cards these days, they put in, um, in these protectors. They're, they're actually graded professionally, and I've done experiments on this as well. This is one of my childhood heroes. Hank Aaron, that card's from 1966. And this card here is from 1956. So this card is worth probably around $20,000 in this particular shape. This is the best card known to mankind. It's uh, called a Mint 9. So this is one of my favorite cards from when I was a kid. He was one of my boyhood heroes. And I picked this up through buying, selling, and trading in the market. But it's really, I mean, that's how you learn to be economist. Exactly. Somehow. This is this is my beginning. This is how I learned to think through markets, to think through how we can change markets, to see how people respond. And it ends up that these things are worth a lot of money now. So what will I do with these? I hope my kids use these to learn about economics themselves. My kids have started to collect as well. I don't give them these cards, not until I am uh, I pass to the next life. But um, these are a glimpse of my boyhood. These are how I learned to be a scientist. And they know do you have those kinds? They know, but I have to change the combination so they can't come down and play with them. Um, but they understand that I have a lot of valuable cards and I continue to purchase cards and buy, sell, and trade in the market today. Mm -hmm. I still do some um, field experiments in these markets, not as many as I did before. And the reason why is because now I'm taking on questions on education and charitable giving and discrimination. In those types of questions, I've been able to receive funding from larger sources, from companies and from governments. So I don't need to fund my own field experiments anymore. Oh. Because remember, in part, what I was doing is I was using these cards to fund my field experiments. Now, as it worked out, I made money most of the time while I was running field experiments, but that wasn't always the case. In some cases, I spent tens of thousands of dollars in cards just to learn about economics. Mm. But Along the way, I was building up my collection, and someday I'll be giving these to my kids. Yeah. That's an interesting way to start economics. Interesting way to start economics. Yeah. Um, but I think going outside the ivory tower and going to real markets and learning about real people, it seems to me the best way to learn about economics. And your children have their own cards. My children have their own cards, and sometimes I trade with them, but they always take advantage of me. <laughs> they always get the better. But they each have their own collection, that's right. You even forgot some of them. Yeah, some of them. Years gone by.
Hmm. What did you guys learn? Have you guys learned anything? Uh, Back. Coordinate planes. Ooh, coordinate planes. What's a coordinate plane, Jacob? It's like a... Hmm. Are there two letters? Oh, X-axis and Y-axis. X-axis yeah. and Y-axis. I'm glad that you're learning about X and Y. What's your favorite book? The Y-axis, right? That's yeah. where I got the idea from, actually. But not the Y-axis and the coordinate plane, but W-H-Y, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you guys plot when you have the X-axis and the Y-axis? Positive, Positives, yeah. negatives, and pretty soon you guys are going to get to functions, right, Mason? Yeah. I learned long division again. Ooh, long division again. <laughs> it's better, right? It's easier the second time, yeah. isn't it? I'm learning functions. You're learning functions right now? What's a function? It's, uh, isn't it like when only like the x-axis can go to one y? Exactly. Like when you take any value from the number line, which is the x-axis, it can only go up and equal one y value. So guys, a circle, you have the x, would it go up if it hits the middle of the circle? Would that be a function or not? Would that just go to something's a function? Yeah, we just learned that today. You should just learned the vertical line test today? Take a vertical line from the x-axis. If it hits the graph twice, it's not a function. function. If it hits it only once, it is a function. function. Okay, that's how you show mathematical relationships between two variables. A function is when it's a straight line like this. It could be something convex or something concave. You guys will learn about that. Anyone else learn anything, in, anything interesting this week? Mac? We have, a common, we have a common assessment tomorrow. Ooh. You studying for that or are you just going to yeah. wing it? I study. You study for it? You think you can do well on it? Yes. All right. Three things on the baseball field this weekend. What are the three things, Mac? Uh, have fun. Have fun. All right. Second thing, Colton. Don't cry. Don't cry. Third thing, try hard. Try hard. If we do those, we're winners, right? I don't care about outputs. What I care about is inputs. All right. Thanks for the workout tonight. You guys did a good job. Let's make sure we do what in school all week. The rest of this week, try hard, right? One more day, and then we're going to have fun this weekend, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. I understand Charlie might be having a Halloween party oh, yeah. on Saturday night. Yeah. All right. That's good, right? Let's go have fun at Charlie's house, because when we're on the AR field, we have fun. We have AR tomorrow. Yes. Halloween party Saturday night. Games on Sunday. We might be playing all day Sunday. Right? We might be playing all day on Sunday. We start at 10.30 against a, a good opponent called the Outsiders. And then win or lose, we're going to play either an hour later or three hours later. And from there, we might be playing two or three games, OK? But this is our last, last tournament. Fall ball's done. And then we start our winter workouts. OK, winter workouts Wednesday night, Friday night, Saturday, Sunday. That's when we get better, right? That's when we all get better. Focus on school, focus on family, and then we're going to winter workouts, okay? And then we'll have tournaments in the winter, and then we're gonna run it all the way to Cooperstown, okay? Don't care about outcomes, care about inputs, all right? Look at that, guys. Good boy. Who wants to go, who wants to go? What do you want, what do you want? Go alphas. Alphas. On three alphas, on three alphas. One, two, three, alphas! Alpha! Okay, pack your bags up, guys. Go inside. I want Eli, Noah, and Mason to stay out here.